<coughs> now let's take uh, being a demo class of earned value analysis. Okay, there is one particular topic uh, called earned value analysis. It is not something which is regularly used or seen to be used in most organizations, but it is one of the very good tool to be used, tools and technique to be used in a project to ensure or to have a better understanding of how the project is progressing. Uh, there is a question, do we need to memorize all the process across the five phases from J? Uh, J, yes, there is a need to memorize, uh, but it's not a difficult task. Uh, once we go through the topics in detail, we will understand there is a natural flow of activities. So once we understand the natural flow, it's easier to remember. Okay. So in earned value, what we really do is we try to measure our progress based on the value, based on the money. Both schedule and cost is calculated on the basis of that. We will take an example to see that. So it's objective method to measure project performance and are used to measure project health and uh, project performance. It's a quantitative technique for assessing progress as the software project team goes through the work tasks allocated. Common value scale for every project task. Uh, so just give me a moment, let me just take an example and uh, we will explain how this is done. Uh, this is this is one area where you will need to memorize the formulas. In PMP, there are few areas where we need to memorize formulas. This is the biggest of the lot. And you can expect around five questions coming from this particular topic. Now, why is EVA needed? There are different measures of different types of task. This allows you to give one single way of measuring everything. It provides an early warning signal for prompt corrective action. So it says bad news does not age well. It means that if you keep holding to the bad news, it doesn't help. We need to attack that and take care of it immediately as a project manager. If we know that the project is not going as per schedule, it will get delayed. It is, we need to take care of the situation and find out what is causing the delay and what can be done to take care of it while there is still time to recover. Maybe you need additional fund, you may need additional resource, something or the other. <coughs> you need to roll up progress of many tasks into our overall project status and you need to have a uniform unit of measure for the progress. EVA helps you to pro give, uh, get all these things. Now, there are certain things called planned value, earned value and actual cost. With the help of the example, we'll see what it is. Uh, earlier, the planned value used to be called BCWS or budgeted cost of work scheduled. Earned value used to be called BCWP, which is budgeted cost of work performed and actual cost of work performed ACWP. In case of PMP exam, they might use the PVEVAC or BCWS, BCWP or ACWP, any of these two terms, but we should know what each means. And uh, so if they are saying BCWS, we know that they are talking about PV. If they are saying BCWP, they are talking about EV. And if they are talking about ACWP, it means they are talking about actual cost. Now these are the different formulas that are there. Uh, we will not uh, go through in details in each of them, but we will take an example to understand how this works. So earned value is the process of measuring the performance of the project against what was planned to identify variance, opportunities to improve the project or just check the project health. 
So it's a system of mathematical formula that compares work performed against work planned. Measure the actual cost of the work the project has performed. Now here the only complexity that happens is the schedule is also calculated based on dollars. So we have to understand that and then it is fine. So what is planned well? Now if you are supposed to work in a project and the cost of the project is $400,000 and it is planned to be finished in a year, the complete project. After six months, what does that mean? Six months means half of the year, so 50% of the work. So your planned value at after six months is 50% of the project cost which is 50% of 400,000 which is 200,000. Earned value management is always calculated at a particular date, at a particular date. So as of that date, that is six months from when it started, we have done, we are supposed to do 200,000 worth of work. What is the earned value? It is the physical work completed to date and the authorized budget for that work. Now in the same example, if we say that at the end of the six months, we have done 45% of the work. So what is our earned value? It is 45% of 400,000. So we have done 1 lakh 185,000 dollar worth of work. How much were we supposed to do? 200,000 dollar worth of work. So we are 15,000 dollar worth of work short. Which necessarily means as Sudhi says, we are behind schedule. We are going late. 